Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am working on Gratitude Documented, day 24, which is um, the prompt of prayer. And so we are in Psalm 88, verses 1 and 2. And um, I'm just going to be using some of the print and pray pieces from the shop. And I'm also going to be using... Um, my gratitude documented stamp set with the different leaves and illustrated faith pigment ink and so um, I am just going to um, start working on my title and as I'm cutting out these letters from Salted Brew from the print and pray shop um, I'm going to make the title um, hear my prayer and so I'm just picking out the colors that coordinate best with the big amen statement piece that I'm going to be using um, from the uh, print and pray shop that I just thought worked perfectly with this prompt. And like a lot of you probably know, I have printed these out on the clear Avery sticker paper. I will link the link down in the description below so you can go ahead and, um, and pick it up because it just makes the letters completely melt onto your page and um, it really helps them stick out and give you a clear background and so I love using that. I pick it up at Staples. You can also get it um, on Amazon or at any like local print shop. One thing that you will notice about the clear sticker paper um, in just a moment when I mess up here um, is that once you stick the clear paper down onto your page it is down there for good. Um, so um, I kind of fiddle with those leaves off to the right and um, I decided to put them on the inside of my Bible by the binding and um, it gets a little crooked so I try and reposition it and um, it does end up kind of wrinkling the page a little bit so just be sure that whenever you're using one of those pieces that um, it is definitely in a spot where you want it to stay and um, so you don't have to kind of wiggle it around and risk ripping your page because that almost happened to me and so that was that was no good. Um, and then I'm going to use um, a stamp that I have to spell out the word prayer and um, it's actually like a two-piece stamp so it'll say prayer and then I have pray and then I have to add the ER to make the um, to make the word prayer. Um, so but I just love the script lettering and so um, I just knew that it would be perfect for this prompt and for this page today. After I make the word prayer, I notice that I have a little bit of blank white space after the word, and so it kind of traps your eye. And so I decide to just get a little black heart stamp and um, place it after the word prayer just to kind of end the title um, of my page and kind of um, bring it all together. And of course, a couple of days ago, my versifying lid of my ink broke, and so now I'm having to piece it together, um, and uh, it ends up leaving a little bit of a black spot on the other side of my page that you guys will end up seeing, um, just a little line from the lid of the ink, of the ink pad, so I was kind of annoyed with that, but um, just decided to keep going. Um, I'm adding the date just so I can get rid of the... Um, versifying ink from that side of my page and I can kind of be done with it um, and then like always I end up deciding that I need to put more stamps so you'll see me get out the ink in just a little bit um, but now I am going to just um, stick on my gratitude documented washi tape I've been putting it on the edge of all of my pages um, for this process and so um, when my Bible is closed and you're looking at the pages, you can see all of the work that was done through Gratitude Documented. Now I'm sticking the Amen down at the bottom of my page because that's going to go at the end of my prayer. Um, like I mentioned before, printed on clear stick, sticker paper, and it is from the Print and Pray shop, and so I will be sure to link that below. Um, I'm just using that same washi tape to anchor down my tab up at the top of my page. And um, I just go ahead and use my, um, my Illustrated Faith adhesive. And then um, I'm cutting out the word prayer from Shauna's toolbox letters. And um, that has all the prompts. And so I thought that would work really well up at the top with my tab. And it kind of offsets the scripted prayer um, stamp that I used. 
And now, um, after I attach that word prayer, I am just going to reach for my new highlighter, washi tape. And I'm super excited about all of these different colors that Illustrated Faith has given us. Um, it is a new product, and I will put a link down at the bottom. Um, but you can actually see the words underneath the washi tape. Um, and it is perfect for the width of the words and the height of the words um, in your Bible. And so... Um, I love that it's just easy to grab, just rip it off. It, a lot of people worry about bleed through when they're highlighting verses and things like that. Obviously with washi tape, you won't have any of those issues. And so, um, I love this product and I'll make sure to link it below. So just follow the link. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, as you can see, there are a lot of colors that are available. Um, and, uh, and so I just really, really enjoy this product. And I'm just drawing my journaling lines, and I'm going to start my journaling um, for today's entry. Um, I like to sometimes put lines when I'm journaling just to kind of keep it straight, but um, as you can see, my goal when I'm journaling is just to kind of keep my pen moving. Um, it's not my neatest handwriting, um, but it's definitely just something that I want it to be just my heart on the page. Um, and so I'm just um, thanking the Lord for um, giving us that opportunity to have open communication with Him um, and for putting people in my life that allow me to pray for them and um, allow me to pray with them. And so I'm just writing everything about prayer um, that I am so thankful for and um, just writing that I hope that He hears all of my prayers and um and that uh, they get answered in his time because he has a plan for us and that's better than our plan for sure. The next part that I'm going to um, do on my page was actually something that I just kind of did on a whim. And so um, I'm taking the Illustrated Faith Gratitude Documented Stamps. This is different than the stamp set that comes in the kit, um, but this one is actually sold separately at Dayspring. You can follow the link to grab it. Um, and I'm using the Illustrated Faith Colored Pigment Ink, um, which unfortunately is through the kits that are no longer available. Um, but you can use any colored pigment ink and it will do the same thing. Um, and I'm just using the coordinating colors um, on my page to put the solid stamp down um, in the different colors and then you will see um, I'll do it the same thing with yellow and then um, I will um, take my black ink and the outline of the leaves and I will place it on top of the colored um, the colored leaves just to give it a little bit of an outline and it makes it stick out a little bit more I'm not worried about perfection or anything like that um, but just making sure that um, that it's somewhat over the color and you can see that it kind of makes it um, stick out and come together. And as you kind of watch me do that, I just wanted to, um, to ask you guys what I could be praying for you for. Um, make sure you put your prayer requests in the comments below. I'd love to be praying for you or your family um, and any needs that you have. Um, I love to do that and, um, and to make sure that um, my friends and my followers and um, the Illustrated Faith community is well prayed for. And so um, please just leave your prayer requests down below and I'd, I'd love to pray for you um, in any um, season of life that you're in. Um, and so you can see I decide that I'm going to use a little bit more pink um, just to kind of tie in the top of that title. And so I get the acorn stamp from that same stamp set and um, I'm using the pink Illustrated Faith pigment ink and now I'm putting that throughout my page um, and I will outline it again with the black VersaFine ink um, just to make it all come together and I just love how it ends up looking um, when it is all finished. I see a little bit of blank space between my prayer on the side and my verses on the left and so I decide to reach for the small grateful stamp in the same stamp set that is available on Dayspring and um, after that is down on my page then my page is complete. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please be sure to subscribe and like and make sure that um, you follow me on Instagram at Rowrites. and until next time have a great day.